A congressional hearing set for later today on the Flint, Michigan water crisis as the FBI. The FBI has now joined the investigation into what happened there and if anybody was at fault. And as Flint deals with the fallout, the concern is spreading all across the country, like in New Orleans, where the drinking water flows through lead pipes installed nearly 100 years ago. Do you have lead pipes? Do you know whether or not your water is safe to drink? Well, you know what? Dr. Nina Radcliffe joins us right now with the best ways to test your water at home. Good morning to you. Good morning. I don't know if I've got lead pipes at my house. I, I know I don't in the house, but I don't know what the city's got running up to my house. Right, and that's a question on many people's minds. Good water quality is vital to our good health, and mm -hmm. water is essential for life. Absolutely. It's two-thirds of our body weight, and this recent stories have left us wondering what is coming out of our pipes, what is coming out of our taps. So I'm here today to teach us how to all become our own clean water sleuth. You know what? And the first step is test your water. And you can get these tests where? Yes, they are they're available at home improvement stores. And okay. there's a number of varieties and brands that are available. It's important to read the instructions to see if it has what you're looking for. Okay. They essentially come with a number of vials as well as testing strips that have a reactant on them. And they will it's change colors. It's like testing colors. the pH in your swimming pool. It is exactly like that. The reactants will change color if they do contain a contaminant. Okay. And there's different ones. This, for example, is a bacteria, and you fill this up. Oh, I never thought about bacteria. Yes. Bacteria can be present. You fill it up, you shake it, and you leave it for 48 hours. Okay. If it changes colors after 48 hours, that means the bacteria levels are too high. A lot of people would like the one to test for lead, so if that's what you're concerned about, just make sure on the outside of the, uh, the test kit, it has what you want exactly. uh, uh, listed. Meanwhile, this is what a lot of people do. We've got a Brita in our refrigerator right now. This is one way to get uh, to filter what out? Right. And this, they, it contains carbon as well as oxidative processes to remove contaminants. It does a fairly good job of removing yep. lead. There are certain really? brands. These are called carafe filters. There are certain brands that are NSF certified, that National Science Foundation. That means that they are good for removing lead. And make sure you change those filters. Absolutely, every once it's while. very important. They don't last forever. They do not. I mean, just like the, uh, for instance, this is a filter you can put right on the faucet. When we moved into our house, there was one of these things on there. Of course, right. it was 20 years older. And we left it there for a year or two, thinking it worked forever. That was a dumb thing to do. Well, these use hydrostatic pressure in order to force water through the filtration process. And this is good because it's not just for drinking water, but also we cook with water. So sure, it, absolutely. it keeps it clean. And there are some studies that say it removes more contaminants. No, that's good, but you should change them every once you in a while. Need to we change never change them. It. Yes, All yes, right. you do. And then the other idea is uh, you can call in a plumber and you can install yes. a big system like this, which is a couple of hundred bucks. But right. this is probably the best you can do, right? It is. They, they get high marks for removing a number of contaminants. In particular, they also remove arsenic. And so they do cost mm. several hundred dollars. They usually require professionals to come out and they can go up into the thousands. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think a lot of people on their honeydew list for this weekend mm -hmm. go get a kit and find out what's in right. the water. And I do want to point out that if you do, you cannot get all your information from just these home testing no. kits. Call the EPA. There is a 1 800 number for their water safety hotline. And you can ask them for some state certified testing sure. centers. Besides, the water company that you get your water from should send you every once in a while, ours does, a letter right. that they shows do. the scary stuff right. in the water. Right, and that's right. at the municipality. Just know that what comes out of your pipe is different. Some water companies will send right. somebody out for free. You don't know unless you ask, so give them a call. The worry up in Flint is the pipes. All right, Nina, thank, thank you very, you very much. much. All right.